Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will be talking about mastering the nine habits for a successful relationship. Having an amazing, fulfilling relationship takes effort. It doesn't just happen by accident. After studying thousands of couples over decades, we've identified nine fundamental habits that are present in all thriving long-term relationships. Mastering these nine habits allows couples to get over common hurdles, resolve issues, and create deep connections. In this video, we'll do a deep dive into each of these nine powerful habits, what they mean, why they matter, and how to put them into practice. My goal is that you walk away with specific, practical tools you can use to take your relationship to the next level. When both you and your partner commit to developing these habits, you have the power to create a relationship that stands the test of time. Habit one, be curious, not critical. When your partner does something that bothers you, it's easy to be critical. But that often leads to them becoming defensive. Instead, approach differences with an open, curious mindset. Ask them questions to better understand their perspective. For example, I noticed you tend to be more of a spender and I'm more of a saver. What shaped your views around money and spending? Listen without judgment as they share their experiences and values. Being curious builds empathy. Follow up with more questions like how can we balance our different money styles? Collaborate vs. Criticize. Curiosity strengthens your friendship and paves the way for win-win compromises. Make it a habit to lead with curiosity. Habit to be careful, not crushing. Disagreements are inevitable, but how you express anger can either resolve or escalate conflicts. Careful, constructive conflict skills prevent issues from spiraling. First, Notice tension rising and call a timeout if needed. Take space to cool down before continuing. When re-engaging, establish ground rules up front. Agree to speak respectfully, listen fully and find solutions, not just vent. Take turns to share your perspective without interruption. Then paraphrase to ensure you understand each other accurately. Look for win-win solutions you both feel good about instead of insisting on being right. Apologize for any hurtful things said once you've worked through the conflict. Do repairs. Careful conflict resolution takes discipline but it builds trust and brings you closer. Habit 3. Practice empathy. Empathy is truly trying to understand where your partner is coming from. It starts by listening without interruption as they share their perspective. Let them fully express themselves before you respond. Then paraphrase back the key emotions you heard. It sounds like you felt really sad when I forgot our anniversary. This shows you were listening closely to understand. Ask clarifying questions if needed, like what was most painful about that for you. These questions demonstrate genuine interest in their inner world. Share when you felt similar emotions. Find common ground in your shared experiences as humans. Being empathetic creates a safe space for deep sharing. Habit 4. Give the benefit of the doubt. When your partner does something that upsets you, pause before reacting. Consider the positive intentions that may have motivated their actions. For example, if your partner is working late, instead of assuming they don't care about you, consider that they may be trying hard to provide for your family. If your partner is short with you, perhaps they are stressed or tired, not intentionally trying to hurt you. Look for the love behind their behavior. Giving the benefit of the doubt prevents you from vilifying your partner and lets you work through issues as a team. It takes practice, but it's worth it. Habit 5. Ask, don't assume, before drawing conclusions about your partner's thoughts, feelings, or motives. Get in the habit of asking open and curious questions. For example, ask how did you feel when I cancelled our plans, rather than assuming they felt angry and making decisions based on your guess. Ask what do you need right now? instead of just doing what you think your partner wants. Create space for their authentic sharing. When you notice yourself about to make an assumption, pause and reframe it into a question. Turn she's being so stubborn into why do you feel so strongly about this decision? Asking builds understanding and prevents misunderstandings. Make asking your default. Habit 6. Speak your truth with care. It's important to share your genuine thoughts and feelings with your partner. But speaking your truth while caring for your partner's feelings is key. 
Carefully choose the right time and tone. Don't blurt it out in anger. Pick a relaxed time when you're both calm and connected. Use I feel. Statements rather than accusatory use statements. For example, I feel concerned when I don't hear from you all day rather than you never text me back and don't seem to care. Avoid criticizing. Focus on owning your own emotions and needs. Speak your truth, but with the intent of building better understanding, not inflicting hurt. This skill takes practice, but it is essential for intimacy, trust, and positive communication patterns. Habit 7. Connect before you correct. It's natural to notice your partner's flaws and want to offer unsolicited feedback. But constant criticism harms your bond. That's why it's vital to connect positively first before trying to correct. Spend quality one and on time appreciating each other, laughing, and having meaningful conversations. Share words of love and praise your partner's qualities. Flirt, be affectionate, surprise them with romantic gestures. Focus on everything that's going right rather than issues you want to fix. When you have that solid foundation of positive connection, then sensitively share suggestions for improvement. But balance it with a ratio of five. One positive interactions for every correction. Connecting first fortifies your friendship so you can weather occasional critiques. Make deposits before making withdrawals. Habitate, practice gratitude. Make expressing genuine gratitude a regular ritual in your relationship. Studies show consistent gratitude journaling, for just five minutes a day, can dramatically strengthen relationships. Verbalize appreciation for your partner's positive qualities. Thank them for specific acts of kindness or support. Write handwritten notes highlighting what you're grateful for. Leave appreciative post-it notes around the house. Send occasional texts sharing what you value about them. Surprise them by sharing gratitude in front of others. Gratitude builds positivity and reinforces your partner's behaviors you want to see more of. It boosts their well-being and your bond. Never underestimate the power of a simple thank you. Habit 9. Regularly renew your bond. Don't let your connection become stale or robotic. Intentionally infuse it with energy by regularly renewing your bond through variety and new experiences. Plan regular date nights. Enjoy dinner out, see a show, dance, take a painting class together. Step out of routine. Take weekends away together, try new activities and make new memories. Explore and adventure together. Prioritize getaways, just the two of you. Recapture the fun of your early dating days. Flirt, relax and reconnect. Surprise each other with romance, flowers, massages, handwritten poems. Don't lose your playfulness. Investing this time together keeps your relationship fresh, positive, and passionate. Renewal takes effort but pays off tenfold. Conclusion? There you have it. The nine habits all thriving couples practice to create amazing relationships that go the distance. They take work, but they allow you to resolve conflicts, have deeper intimacy, and grow together. Choose just one to two habits to focus on at first. Over time, they will become natural and automatic. Here's to strengthening the incredible relationship you have. You've got this.